Hello, buzz and gods. My name is Hotsy, and welcome back to Belchless Factorio. Here we do all by inserters and trains. And the far away goal is uh, red circuits. However, to get there, we need to optimize a few things. Uh, one thing, last time we built up this uh, oil processing and we can see there is not much output of petroleum gas. We have quite a bit of uh, crude oil, so that's not the thing, but we are running full here yes so the sulfur production should no longer consume petroleum gas so that should then go into uh, here for the uh, for the sulfuric acid where we are still waiting for iron and if we want to produce the red circuits, red circuits need green circuits and we are not really producing a large amount. So if we look at this, 244 per minute, that's just not good enough. So we have to scale that up and probably this involves quite a few steps and um, one thing that I have noticed here is that on this level we had a different condition. We waited for the iron plates to go down to 500 and then move on. However, as we have to unload three times as many copper wire as uh, iron plates, we always moved too soon ahead. So we ended up with a ton of uh, copper wire in here, uh, which means uh, the distribution between front and back is not uh, even and um, if we have this uneven distribution uh, we should have the first stop uh, to basically move on if the uh, the item uh, that we have need to unload the most of is unloaded and of course we do then have on the inserters here all the signal wires to stop when uh, when the thing is full so we are reading out here the the train contents and when we have more than 500 items in the train we remove them from the train but when we have 500 we will still have uh, uh, copper wires to unload there and once everything on this side is processed we will probably have a surplus of uh, iron plates because we need three times as much uh, copper wires then we need iron plates so let's then move that over and probably we can have another train for loading green circuits because i think green circuits we are using for the inserters and we are using the inserters uh, for supplying the green science production. Um, 
and I am thinking we need to add more trains. However, um, where I think we need to add them is here for the plates. And we start with iron, uh, but if we look at here, we have iron plate loading we do have uh, uh, six trains and uh, these two those are the ones that go to the green uh, wire production so I think we shall have another train supplying uh, the green circuits and then maybe another train uh, picking up the green circuits. So, um, let's see then. Let's just construct a train here on the rails. Rotate that bit. Supply that and then we need this train um, yep so let's copy that insert that very nice. Then let's go there. And then we shall see where is the train that delivers the things for the uh, this one. No, that's the one picking things up. Um, we need the train that goes to here. That is actually sitting there. It's this one. Yeah. So let's copy that and then we shall move over Ooh, missing signal there we will move over to here where we have some trains parked And copy that. We need a thousand of these. One, two, three, four, five. So that's good. Then let's go there. And destination full. Wonderful. So maybe with that many trains wanting to load copper plates, uh, we might want to have a waiting bay um, down here for iron plate as well which means for all the smelters we would need to uh, to set up the signal like we did for the ore so um, let's do that real quick and then we can see 
where the next problem lies. Now with all six trains going to the iron plate loading, also having a stop for the waiting iron plate pickup down here, which was quite easy because the iron plate loading was the first order, so we could add the uh, waiting as the last one. So now I'm thinking I want to do the same thing for copper plate loading as well and hopefully uh, the changing of the schedule is just as easy. So I think I will copy this part over. I mean, once you have done it for uh, one station, hooked everything up correctly, then it's easy to uh, copy it over to the next one. So, here we of course want copper plate. And here as well. Then we need to wire this up. Um, this um, copper plate larger than 600. I think it is. Let's check. 600. Oh, and we also need this one. Right. Then basically, let's copy that over to here. Then we need a few more red wires because we need to connect the input chests to there. And then from here we need a green wire. Green wire going there to there, and that's then connected to the main setup down here. Um, we also need to connect these up, and then the green wire. going over to there and now we have one copper plate so let's do the same thing for the other station and then set up the waiting bay copper plate pickup is now also hooked up and i am thinking we can add another train here for supplying the uh, green circuit production let's do that here then we will take this train copy it over and Actually, we should probably have um, here at the end iron plate pick up this one um, cargo uh, 
A thousand. Oh, no. No, 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 no. This is zero, uh, but it is, um, and then we have the, the iron plate loading. Here we have the circuit condition, iron plate, larger than zero, and item count, iron plate, larger or equal to a thousand. All right, and then we get rid of this one and we send that train off to here. So... How many trains do we have going here? Loading item count larger or equal to a thousand. Those are the small things that just don't add up, and in the long run, will um, just cause problems. So this one we fixed. Pick up iron plate loading. Good. Second one um, we have not yet fixed, so let's do that uh, at the waiting station with a condition iron plate larger than zero and then have the iron plate loading item count uh, item count here larger or equal iron plates 1000 and once it leaves there Okay, uh, actually, don't need that one there. So then, yeah, we have the load, the wire loading twice. That does not make any sense. So here as well here we load on two wire stations then we go to the delivery oh. ah that's the issue um Copper circuits delivery one. And it's a real pity that you cannot drag this around. Okay. Station one, station two. Then we go to um, train fueling. Uh, 
Um, and there we have to unload uh, half the copper wire and then here we have uh, empty cargo and then we go to iron plate pickup waiting uh, with a condition iron plate large and zero and then we go to iron plate loading item count iron plate um, not show sure equal one says right so was it this train that we just fixed yeah so that train should have the same setup and this train should also have the same setup through here it's this one right loading loading delivery delivery and that means didn't um, there that's the last one um, where did it go uh, this one Let's run all the way back there. This one. Just moves to the second wire loading station. That one is also fixed now. Um, this one is probably a bit confused as it should then go before unloading there. Um, Let's send that one to here and we move the, the wires back into the chests. Because then we have to set up all proper. How are we looking? Oh, our numbers are going down instead of up. We still have more copper wires in here than uh, iron plates 
But we are loading up 3,000 of uh, copper wire and 1,000 iron plates. Oh. And it probably does not help that um, all these trains uh, are now a bit out of sync with the loading. Oh, here we can actually add a few more. Should have close to uh, uh, 3,000. are now in a in a better position uh, to make uh, some decent progress once the uh, train setup uh, has resolved itself now this one this is an interesting one wants to go to ore smelting there we have a train sitting why don't you want to go there can you tell me that just does not make any sense you're coming in from this direction. This train station is not disabled. Ironfield. We have three trains going to one field. So, I don't really understand the problem there. Or... Ah, oh, you are waiting for the fueling. Oh, that's, that's a different method then. And let's make sure that we are nicely stocked up on uh, coal in smelters so that once we get the green circuits we can finish that one. Then probably I will do the blue one, handcraft me some and then go for the electric furnaces. So we can eliminate this uh, tedious step of refilling the furnaces uh, so our process does not continuously break down. So I will go about and uh, fill up the furnaces and maybe we should also see if we should reduce the timer on the fuel loading from 
30 seconds to... I think 5 seconds would be sufficient. Because that would allow uh, some coal to be put in. And over time it's probably still sufficient that we fill completely up on coal. So I will do that and then report back to you how this is actually uh, working out at the beginning of uh, next episode. So hope you enjoyed this fixing episode and I guess we will have to do a lot more fixing uh, to get up the, the production to a level where we can uh, produce a decent amount of uh, science packs. We are still, in, we're still waiting for the first train with uh, green signs to fill up, though we have quite a way ahead of us. So until next time, goodbye!